Right, it's time to do the second episode of Night Springs for Alan Wake 2 expansion. Uh, I don't know how long this one is. It is called North Star. Let's check it out. Are you sure? I'm sure. The first one was kind of goofy, but it was fun. Wait, is this, um... She does not know what strangeness awaits her, as she follows its unwavering light to the small town of dreamlike episode. Holy crap. Teleplay by Alan Wake. Sounds like Jesse Faden. It is. Holy crap. Playing Control 2 before Control 2. Damn, that's cool. Look for your brother. Let's look over here first. <laughs> this one's got already like a creepier vibe to it than the first one. You know what this kind of reminds me of? This whole DLC is kind of like the Amer Alan Wake American Nightmare game. If anybody played that one. A little side game that came out in the 360. By the way... If you don't have that yet, you might want to pick it up because the 360 shop is closing. Um, so if you want it for your 360, now might be the time to pick up Alan Wake's An American Nightmare. I don't know if it's included in the remaster. In fact, I don't think it is. Uh, I believe it's on PC though, so I think you can still get it on PC. But if you want it for your 360, you might want to act fast. It is, it's really awesome. If you like Alan Wake 1 or Alan Wake 2, in general, like you'll you'll like uh, American Nightmare. It's got an awesome like horde mode kind of thing too. It definitely is like that. Yep. As I'm saying, it kind of, it just dawned on me. It kind of reminds me of that presentation of three different episode kind of things. All right, we got this. We got Jesse Faden back in the house here. Wait, oh, we gotta find the code, huh? Was I not paying attention? What would the three digit number be? We gotta walk down these roads? It looks like it's just turning me around. Alright. Maybe it's not so complicated. Maybe it's like right here. So it is right here, isn't it? You think something here's important? What? The numbers? Yeah. So it depends on what date it is, right? Is it that 238? Yeah. Going into coffee world again. Here we go. Can you help me find this place? 
I love this. Look how incredible that scene here is. I mean, dang. It makes me want a coffee too, don't worry. something random sure there's guys right there the lighting is is really good like even <laughs> how they keep they're like remedy's been just so good with the lighting in their games for years now Because this actress was used in Quantum Break. She was a kind of a main character in the Quantum Break story. And they decided to just use her for a different game. As well as, um, what's his name? Sean Ashmore, who is Sheriff Tim Breaker in Alan Wake 2. They decided to use both those actors. It's cool to bring them back. Um, this has got to be a different number, right? So, I feel like we're going to die if we go over there. Let's go this way. ain't disturbing at all. Shadows watching me in the, in the background. It's the Dark Watchers. Look at that lighting. Not as loaded as Rose was. Definitely not. I didn't have to worry about ammo with Rose. Well, we got some stuff here. I don't have a gun yet. Or a light. Let's see what we can find. She's not going to have her, like, powers on. It's really dark over here. Goodness me. I found something. I guess we should go this way then. To the gazebo? Oh, there he is. Get inside the light. What's up, Tim? They don't like the light. You shouldn't be here. How did you even get inside? Shit. I kind of let myself in. What are you for, huh? Staff memo. Please be aware that there will be some changes due to new management. 
Take a phone sin. Light under the stars. I'm looking for someone. My brother. Have you seen anybody? Only if you count those monsters. I'm sorry. They've been abducting people from Night Springs, too. I'm here to get them back home. But now it's time you've left. Hang it's on. not safe here. I thought I just saw. I did. Corner of my eye, I just saw bug guys in my room. It's not another spider though. I think, what is it? I don't even know how I caught that. The thing's like all black. What is, what is tonight? Bug night or something? What's going on? All right, uh, let me grab, I think it's an earwig. It's not a spider, it's not a spider. Definitely not one. Oh, it is a spider. Gosh damn it. Mother fudger. Not again. Come on. Oh, I'm not going to be able to sleep in here if this thing doesn't die. All right, I got to figure out a way to kill this thing. Scarier than the game we're going to be playing. Ground it again. There's another spider. That jaded's here. Glad I got somebody with me, kind of. Oh, wait, no! Now, let me turn the light on real quick. Wait. Is it an earwig? I'm seeing things, guys. No, it's an earwig. Oh, thank God. Gosh, damn it. <laughs> oh, I guess I would just... My mind went spider. It looks so much like a spider when I got up close to it because the way the light was hitting it that I was like, oh my gosh. Oh, it's an earwig. Yeah, we're yeah, grounded's coming to us, huh? The bugs are fighting back. Yeah, it was an earwig. One of the like pincher bugs or whatever. I'm so glad it was one of those. Once I realized it was, that's what I initially thought it was. Cuz I was like that's not a spider, is it? And then I got closer and I was like, "Holy crap, maybe that is a spider." Cuz the way it, like the light hit it, it didn't show its whole body. And then when I got up uh, again and take, took a to turned on the light, um, yeah, it was a, it was an earwig. <laughs> Don't die, he says. <laughs> I'll have to respawn. Where's my respawn point? <laughs> we got yeah. Okay, that was nothing. It was just one of those earwigs. Those are fine. I'm glad it like wasn't a spider. I mean, a roach would have been terrible too, but it would have been better than a spider probably. I already faced a Black Widow tonight. I don't need <laughs> any more spiders. Alright, uh... I'm not going anywhere. Another insect interruption. Just past the park. It's locked up tight. Has some fancy government security system. But the intercom is busted. I figure that's where they're keeping our missing folks. Okay. There's a spare pistol and flashlight Oh, good, good. I'd feel better if you took them. We're gonna take those. those monsters don't do well with light. And whatever you do, do not drink the coffee. Hey. That's gonna be hard for me. 
not drink the coffee. I don't even know how I saw that bug either. Like, I saw something out of the corner of my eye, and it's so dark in here. Right now. I think it crawled over my digital, like, alarm clock. And then I just saw, like, I probably saw that. Because it was on my clock. So I must have crawled over one of the numbers, and that's how I, like, saw it out of the corner of my eye. Looks like I saw something move. Alright. Let's go. Back to business. If you look at the earwigs, they're like pincher bugs. They look nasty. Let's check out that warehouse the sheriff. But they're kinda harmless. You still with me? Good to hear. I guess they're actually good if you have like a garden or something, because they like destroy a lot of the other insects. I don't know. Alright, let's see if we can find. We found we have a lot of materials right now. Or a lot of bullets, some healing, decent amount of batteries. Here's the roasting bar. Here. We'll be ready for a fight soon, I bet. And hopefully, we, uh, the insects have got it all out of their system and there'll be no more insect interruptions tonight. I'm going to be known as the bug guy streamer at this point. Oh wait, did I... What, did the note I get... I don't know if we can get in there yet. We gotta get inside the warehouse, so let's see. What else we got there? There we go. Join us, make the world coffee. <laughs> I'm in. See that right there? That's like. So maybe they're leading me on over there or something. Gift shop. Oh. I don't know what. Drink the coffee? We got dark as the void. Dark triangle coffee. They got a light roast. Supposed they were gonna do an episode of this with Alex Casey. Oh, that's a shame. James McCaffrey's passing, yeah. It's a shame they didn't already have it like made fully, so they could have done it as like a homage to him. Flashlight? Okay, I was gonna say, I thought I did. I'm like, why, why is it not out? Whoa, 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 who's moving towards me? I'm gonna go up here. That is, that's Polaris. Dark Triangle must be a reference to the board in control. That's what I was thinking. Because they're going to do a lot of stuff linked to control here. 
No doubt about it, with her being there. Although, like, I only played through that game once, so... It's hard to kind of remember it. Um... I don't think those are the numbers to anything. Yeah, I don't remember every little detail about the control story or anything. It's definitely something I'll have to play through again on my own time. Like off off stream to get a refresher. Because that's going to be their next game, right? Control 2 and then... If they're still doing a control multiplayer, I don't know. Wake three, hopefully. I think it's gonna happen, too. We'll see if Remedy has any new IPs up their sleeve eventually, but. Max Payne. Oh, that's right. I forgot they're doing Max Payne remakes. I think those are going to do pretty good. I should definitely try Max Payne someday. What's the first Max Payne on? Is it original Xbox? It was that generation, right? Somebody coming from behind? Come on, Jesse. I'm gonna die. I did. Alright, a little rusty there. Jeez. Alan Wake 3 will probably become sooner than Alan Wake 2 did. Yes, hopefully, hopefully. I'm pretty sure it will. Like, they can't... Like, these days, if you have a good game that you're expecting to put, like, another one out, you really should be maybe a couple years in between it. You know, I don't want them to, like, rush it or anything. Be like, oh, let's get it out. But they, if they use this same engine, it should be a lot faster, right? Because they're not going to have to build it from the ground up. They can use this engine, they can use these character models, a lot of these things from this game, set pieces even, you know, music, voice clips, whatever, you know, it's, it shouldn't make it as far off because they already have like a building block basically to use. Because they're not like trying to, you know, I don't know if we'll get one another one on the Xbox Series X or the PS5, but maybe early on in the next gen cycle, it, it could happen using the same engine and everything. Is her gun automatic? Uh, well, it might be. 24 clip here. Try holding in the trigger. All right, what was I doing? I don't remember where I went. Find what we can, I guess. Coffee warehouse. That's where I'm supposed to get to. Oh, it is. Good call. I'll 
that I'm gonna hit any of my shots, but... Damn, okay, that's cool. An automatic little pistol here, like an Uzi. Absolutely spot on with that. I know it, does, it is a lot of ammo. It'd normally be like maybe 12 shots, right? At most. She's mowing them down with this freaking thing. A machine gun. Outhouse is out of order, I know. <laughs> Who said? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's look at this note here. Still is temporarily out of order. How? Another one of these cases. Mm -hmm. Wait. Is that something up there? dark over here. Tasting room. Tasting room? I'm just curious as to what that is. Tasting room for the coffee. I get them get I'm assuming. They got different Oh, it was this place. Okay, this was like where the gift shop was. Where we were before. That'd be the room I'd want to be in. Tasting all the different coffees. Where's that? Where's that thing? They have these wine tasting events and stuff. Where's the coffee tasting events? That's what I want to take part in. These wine and cheese events. I want like coffee and donut event. Why is it always gonna be wine? What the hell? That guy fell on me. What? He jumped in and killed me. Okay, that part's hard over there for some reason. It is like a pier out of nowhere. Here we go. Alright, let's be a little more cautious about that then. Maybe I should just go to the warehouse. I don't even know where it is. I looked at the map. Is it maybe that thing's leading me to the way? Let's go. That is the right way. I love exploring so much. Not going towards the tasting room. Oh, this is well again. Look at that. Oh, 
And what a game Alan Wake 2 is. This is just adding to its legacy with some like great DLC. And the Lake House. I'm, I'm like more excited for the Lake House thing because if it's like a a continuation of the Alan Wake 2 story or just like canon story, you know, this is not like I don't think any of this stuff is canon. It's just kind of like alternate universe, like what if scenarios or something. It seems like. It's still really cool to see all this though, and you know, be playing as Jesse again. Like, if we get more canon story, that's gonna be awesome. You know, whether if it's with Alice or whatever. Lake House should be very interesting. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's supposed to come later this year, or is that next year? Plenty of healing, plenty of ammo. Hi, uh, I need to get inside. Sorry, I lost it. Uh, what's the question? Sure. What's the question? What kind of question is that? I think it's triangle, right? No, I don't know. Was it coffee? This year, probably October. Ooh, something more Alan Wake during Zero Ween. Yes, please. She doesn't know. We have to find the video first. So the VHS tape that we probably have to find, bring back to that TV. Batteries and stuff. I think this episode is definitely going to take us longer because it's more of like a... This is more survival horror. The other one was just like a action... Like fun one. It was great though. I mean, I like the... How they're all... Maybe each episode is going to have kind of its own tone to it. And Remedy certainly creates things that no other game companies even come close to trying to do. You know, it's just that the stories and the... The presentation that they're able to pull off with their games and stuff is just, it's top tier. I mean, there's, nobody can really touch it. I think that's what makes the Alan Wake games so great for me too, is just the presentation alone of everything. 
the storytelling. I mean, Sam Lake is a he's a gifted writer, that's for sure. He knows how to keep things interesting and twists and turns. Let's see what we got. I'm gonna go back, find that VHS tape now. Series X version required download for this? For the physical version. PS5 uses 100 gigabyte discs, so they're able to fit it. Oh, Xbox Series X uses smaller discs. So, so the whole game's not even going to be on the disc. That's kind of lame. I mean, I'm going to be getting the physical for the Xbox, though, so I, you know. Since I already have it on here, but I mean, I could get the physical for PlayStation if I want to, but I mean, I have the game on a Series X, and I just want to get the physical version of it on there, even if it's just like a standard version or something. It comes down to that, but I really want that $200 <laughs> ridiculous version because it looks so awesome. Great storytelling, atmosphere, most importantly, great gameplay. Yep, gameplay is what. I think between... Well, there's like a bunch of reasons why I loved the first Alan Wake so much at the time. The graphics were the best thing I had seen at the time, and I was just blown away by that. But the story kept me wanting to play the first night I played it into like chapter three or four, I think I got to the first day. And you think that's a first playthrough, so it took me like several hours for each chapter to kind of like figure out what to do. I was exploring a lot, soaking it all in. I wasn't like rushing through anything. So I played that game a bunch the day it came out. I think I got to at least the third chapter, maybe the fourth. And I like stopped myself because I didn't want to finish it all yet. I was like, I gotta save some for another night. And I started playing it in smaller increments after that, but I mean it was the the storytelling and the gameplay. The gameplay just once I got a hang of like how the controls handled the layout of the controls was so perfect too. Every button did exactly what I needed it to do and it was mapped out to where I needed it to be to make the gameplay so smooth. So I, I fell in love with the combat of the game rather quickly too. And it does work in this survival horror aspect too but does it not quite as well as the uh, the third person action but it definitely does work in this too just a little bit slower here and here's where we keep dying Percolate. Solve all stashes. I oh, guess that was it. Um. In Alan Wake 3, I hope, you know, I would like to see Saga Anderson playable again with Wake, a dual thing. It would be really cool again. You know, I do miss playing as Alan Wake. I love playing as... There's nothing better than playing as Alan Wake in these games. It's cool they're inter implementing more characters for this one. But I still enjoy... When I'm controlling Mr. Wake the most. But Saga had some really great sections in this game. And her story was, was really great. I think the actress did a great job.
made you care for her and Alan. But I have an emotional 15 year attachment to Alan Wake here. Come on. Oh my, that one was crazy. Did we already do this one? I got it wrong. Uh, restart. Is that one? Boom. Okay, actually, it's not that bad. Thought it said we solved all these, but okay. Gotta find this tape. Barry, Barry has to return. Yes, he has to. That was like, for me, the most disappointing thing about the second game here. Is that we didn't get any Barry Allen interactions. Because they're, the way they played off of each other was so funny and so just charming in the first game. It was like, they were like the perfect duo. Their chemistry was awesome. Perfect little buddy cop kind of thing going on. And it was just, it was just awesome. And to not have him even make an appearance in this game was, I gotta admit, still kind of rubs me the wrong way, but I gotta believe that maybe they have plans for him. Maybe he makes appearance in the Lake House DLC. Maybe he's gonna be a huge part of the third game. I don't know. But he can't just be written off doing his thing. You know? He would still want to, like, help Alice. He'd still want to, like, find Alan if, if he knew he was still out there. Who else is going to call him Al? Like they did, they brought back a lot of great characters for this game, but they did not bring back Barry was a... I don't know. I feel like he could have been a huge help. And it was kind of cool that they showed, you know, a little bit on what he was doing. Uh, he's, he's been in contact with Alice a bit and all that, but not seeing him. Because you remember, if you, anybody, actually, I won't, I won't give away anything too much about what I was about to say, so never mind. Um... Keep my mouth shut. Um, but yeah, mostly everybody here has probably played the first game or know most about it. Man, I can't find anything right now. No, I, any, not even more enemies. I mean, this. could end up being a game I love more than Hogwarts Legacy eventually even though I I put this at number two in Hogwarts Legacy number one last year I still feel that way but you know over time my mind could change I could decide you know Alan Wake 2 is a game I end up loving more just because it's a series I love but can't take away from this great game this would have won game of the year pretty much any other year for me Easily. But I had to put my bias aside. <laughs> I was like, I love this game to death, but do I like it more than Hogwarts Legacy? And that's, no, I just don't. They're both 10 out of a 10 game, but. 
Yo, dude. Got him down, got him down. Those guys, like, transfer in like that, like an orb coming out. It's crazy. Maybe Barry's actor was too busy. Maybe. I mean, they seem to have kind of recast some of the... I mean, Alice is completely different. She's a different actress. I mean, she looks almost on par with the girl from the first game, so that's really good. They did a great job recasting her because it's not the same actress model that they used. Maybe not even the same voice actress. I don't know. Maybe it was the same voice actress. I'm not sure. But definitely wasn't the same. Like, the model they, they modeled the first Alice after is, is different than the actress in the second game. But I like, I might like the one in this game more, actually. Because her scenes were incredible. I thought she brought more, more life to Alice's character than just being, you know, a render of a, of a, of a character there, you know. Having like a real actress in there. But yeah, that would have been. Maybe they were trying to figure out what to do with Barry or something, I don't know. There's no way that, like, as from a creative perspective, they would just like write him off completely. Be like, all right, well, we're just gonna scrap the Barry character. Like, that would just be such a disservice to the story overall, and to the game itself. So I gotta imagine they have some kind of plan with Barry eventually that we're not seeing yet. Where have I not been? I feel like I keep going around to the same places, but... Again, that's kind of creepy at night, isn't it? Something about being at a theme park at night, all closed down, that's kind of disturbing to me. I've seen videos of, like, urban explorers going to, like, closed down theme parks at night. Some, like, creepy ones, and it's like... Like ones in like other countries and stuff and it's yeah it's unsettling I'm like I wouldn't do it as interesting as it is how am I supposed to remember all that so it goes middle So much stuff here. He is the solace. The security system wants some kind of password to get into the warehouse. So you got a work. I wonder why I wouldn't turn on the cookie. What did it ask for exactly? fourth word of the dark triangle coffee mission statement. Any idea what that is? Of course, it wants you to watch the video. The info you're after is on a videotape, but it is chock full of government brainwashing. I watched a bit of it. It was doing something to me. It's dangerous. You can't watch that tape. I need that videotape, sure. Well, this is exactly how they get you. But fine. If you really want it, I hit it in Ferrisville, cup number four. You'll need this key. Don't say I didn't warn you. I don't know. Maybe we should listen to Mr. Breaker here. And then back to the Ferris wheel, which I don't remember where that is. This one? Oh, it's this ferret. Right here. It is up over here. I 
said number four. that TV at nope. maybe Alan purposely wrote Barry out of the story to protect him maybe and that would make sense that's uh, just a way that they could explain it. So many possibilities with this stuff, too. Let's go watch the ring, I mean the tape here. Sent a lot of sense for you if he hears Alan's actually alive still. Yeah, exactly. If he knows. Like, I want that. Ultimately, I want that moment of, like, Alan reuniting with Alice and Barry. That would just be so amazing. After all these years and him, everything he's been through. What if my brother has already been. No. I didn't come all this way to lose him now. That might not be till. You know, the end of the third game or something at this point. If at all, you know, I don't know. Maybe this story doesn't have a happy ending. Or maybe it does for one person, but not for another. We don't know what they got in store. I'm excited to find out.
truth. What? I'm not a barista. I'm not a fucking barista. Damn it, now we need. That must be what the coffee number is. Some of our triangle? What's it saying? 60 degrees on each of those? 180? One of the sum of its parts. of triangles prime numbers crossed out wait what the heck don't make, don't make me do math don't make me do math one in the morning Hang on. the first digit of our optimal roasting temperature is half of the second and third Digit is one less than the one before. I got this. I gotta wrap my brain around all of this right now. The first is your optimal roasting temperature is half of the second. So let's say if the second digit was four, then the first one would be two. The third digit is one less than the one before. Okay, so it could be like two, four, three or something. Who knows? Below 500 degrees Fahrenheit. What also, the number of light years number? between Earth and planet X13 <laughs> uh, is below 500. So, okay, let's start messing around. Two, four, three. Mm. That doesn't seem right. We do four, eight, seven. Yes. That was it. What the heck? Second guess? Alright. Alright, return to the intercom. Find where that is. 243 was on the paper crossed out. Yeah, that's the one that like jumped in my head initially. I was like, well, that's the easiest one that sticks out. And I'm like, 487 for no reason. <laughs> We're in, we're in. Now we gotta go find the warehouse again. Could be harder than solving that puzzle. It's over here. Flashlight on, Jesse, come on. You're in the dark here. You're in Night Springs. That's super high temperature. I know, like, they're gonna burn that coffee and it's gonna taste burnt. I don't know about you guys, I don't like this taste of burnt coffee. I, mean, I might drink it from time to time, but I don't enjoy it if somebody gives me burnt coffee. It's like you can't, I don't know, it just doesn't taste that great. Nothing left over there, all right. Uh, 
what's next. Yep, I knew it. I had a feeling. Tch. I'm gonna say I have. I have tried. Well, we were told not to try the coffee. here. Why is it like everything, like the action's so loud in this game and everything else is like a nice, <laughs> nice volume. Because like I like to, to turn it up so I can hear the atmosphere and everything. And so you guys can hear like the voice acting. But damn, when you start shooting sounds, it's so loud. Hey, Breaker's not here anymore. Seeing that. Ah, we gotta find the tasting room again. Which was, uh... I don't remember. It's a confusing area. Let's go this way. Audio dynamic range option? Uh, maybe. Bass reduction, dialogue, I guess sound effects, but that would also turn down the atmosphere. Guess not. Mono audio. <laughs> That's alright. I got my TV remote always here to turn the volume up and down. I do it all the time during these streams. If something's too loud. Shooting wildly. Whatever gets the job done. At the tasting room. Not, is it? Right, this is a boat. Well, that was something that was kind of like this game had audio issues when it launched, too. I remember the first time I played this game, the first episode, it was like. It went mute for a little bit. I had to like restart the game to get the volume back on at all. Because it wasn't my TV or my Xbox, it was the game's audio. And it like sometimes pops and stuff. So the audio's had like its problems. They did like update the game to fix the audio in it. And I didn't see as many issues going forward in the game, but when this game launched there was like some weird audio issues at times. But like, I think they could have balanced this out a little bit better. Maybe, I don't know. Tasting room. Because there's one thing I love about these games is the atmosphere and turning up the volume to hear 
if the guys are coming, the music changing, all the little background noises. Love it. Pretty much in any horror game, you love to, to hear it as good as you can when playing it. If there were ever games I would stream with headphones on, it would probably be horror games, but I don't want to do that. And not being able to hear myself talk either. I feel like I'd be that guy wearing the headphones and like screaming everything I say by accident, not knowing how loud I'm talking. Hey guys, check this out. Look at this. There's a dude right over here. I'm trying to shoot him. I think I have an inside voice and it's just, I'm like screaming. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that guy. They add an option that reduces the loudness of jump scares? Oh, really? I guess for people that don't want to be startled as much. Or chill. I don't mind the jump scare noises. So the gun firing is like really loud. I mean, as it would be, but for the game, it's just like... It kind of really blares. Oh, shoot. She drank the coffee. I don't think we're ever getting to that warehouse. I did a I did a poll on my channel recently about what chain coffee is the best between Starbucks, Coffee Bean, and Dunkin' Donuts. Surprisingly, to my surprise, Starbucks won because I think they're the worst of the three. But they're also they're still good. But I think Starbucks has the most overrated coffee of the three. Personally, I I love Dunkin' Donuts coffee, but it's also the cheapest one. So, um, what does that tell you about me? <laughs> but I like Starbucks, too. I, I do like Starbucks, but I just like uh, the other places better. Coffee Bean's pretty underrated, I think. They have some good stuff. Because I've gotten, like, regular coffee at Starbucks, and it just tasted gross. Like, I have to get, like, a specialty drink at Starbucks. I'm not usually picky about my coffee, either. Like, I'll have it from almost anywhere. But sometimes Starbucks regular coffee just is... I don't know, like, it's, it's been burned before and didn't taste good. It's the sheriff. What happened here? He looks menacing right now for some reason. Burnt coffee is dark roast. Yeah. <laughs> close, to, close to that. Burnt coffee is just like, I don't know, it doesn't even... I don't even know how to explain the taste of burnt coffee. It just isn't good. Alright, don't you worry, Sean Ashmore, we got this. I am coffee. Now we're left with just a flashlight. Do 
Your dip is on the paper? Wait, this guy talking to the intercom? Or the guy, oh, the guy on the ground, you're saying? The missing guy, you're right, that's him. Wow, that was a good, good eye there. Yeah, the guy that was in the paper in the gazebo. Yeah, oh! Don't come after me unless you got three cream, three sugar! Oh gosh. Well. All these years of drinking coffee. And it's finally catching up to me. Literally. <laughs> Get roasted. Arachna. What's up, Arachna? Riot. <laughs> nacho. Where's the nacho command? Hi there. We're getting attacked by coffee. Hello there. Maybe we'll riot. Maybe we'll riot. I hope you're doing well. I've got a six foot ounce coffee coming after me. I'm not brewed. Is this like a stealth mission? We got a key. Get in there, get in there, get in there. Close the door, close the door, close the door. I have done their bidding. Packaged their coffee and brought the, the people to Coffee World to share in their blessing. They say I am almost ready. Is that her brother? This is crazy. You're breathing? I am more than ecstatic that you're breathing. I'm breathing as well. Potent potential hyperventilating earlier because of a black widow spider, but I'm good. <laughs> this is a uh, flail as much as you want zone. The sheriff's in here too? Dark triangle coffee. They really want us to have this freaking coffee. It's the coffee cult. This is what Starbucks is going to become. Sheriff, how'd you get in here? Not gonna lie, this is really making me want a cup of coffee, but it's one in the morning, and I gotta work tomorrow. But coffee time is family time. Hey. It's like you know me so well. Actually, is that true? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what is that? Oh my goodness. I had a spider. I had two bugs tonight. I had a outside, right outside my, my window in my, in my house here. We had freaking Black Widow I had to deal with earlier on the stream. To kill a black widow. My girlfriend went outside and spotted it, and she was like freaking out. I was like, "What's? Is there a spider out there?" And then in my room here, I had a freaking earwig show up. I'm like, "What's going on tonight? These bugs are after me. It's all the ground that I've been playing. They're angry with me." Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa can slap really good. I mean, if you there's a good cup of hot cocoa, is like the coziest thing ever.
Oh yeah, this one's this episode's getting weirder and weirder as we go here. But I like it. You like go for it, make the coffee. <laughs> It'll probably give me up a little bit later than I need to be. Yes, you can never visit me because of the, the spiders I know. We get a lot of earwigs around here. Spiders. I mean, the Black Widow, I do not see often. So that was terrifying. It was a big ass one, too. It's Wake! Sister. Wait, what? How are those two? I mean, I know it's like not really canon, but how can one expose a lie when the truth exists beyond our wildest imagination? Who can ever truly know how deep the rabbit goes? Night Springs. Night Springs. And you notice Alan was wearing his clothing from Alan Wake 1. Whether that tells us anything or not, I'm not sure. And then we get to dance. That is the girl from Control, yeah. That's who we played as in this uh, in this uh, DLC chapter. You'll know what an ear thing is? They're called ear wigs. I call them pincher bugs. But they're pretty common over here. I mean, we've been getting a lot of them the past month or so. I don't mind them, to be honest. Like, they don't bother me with... I saw one earlier, I thought it was a spider, and that's why I freaked out, but then I realized it was an earwig, and I was like, oh, okay. Took care of that. So I'd rather deal with, I'd deal with an earwig any day over any spider. They look nasty, though, earwigs. They're not the, they're not small, either. They're pretty big. But they're a lot like, I don't know. For some reason, they don't really freak me out so much. Do I think Control 2 will happen and will it lead to Alan Wake 3 where you play as both? I think that's definitely going to happen, Apple. I think Control 2 is already been like confirmed, I think. Alan Wake 3, I assume, is going to happen. They're setting it up. But I definitely want a game where, where you do play as both. Like Maybe like a dual game between Wake and Faden would be really cool. But I don't know. I don't know what they got up there. Their sleeves. Assuming they go in your ear and lay eggs to take over your brain. At night, at night, they do. <laughs> During the day, they're harmless, though. It has been confirmed. Yeah, that's what I. That's what I, people have said before. Come to. All right, let's. That's it. That's the end of the episode. So we have one more episode to play. We're not doing it tonight. We're going to split it up into three different parts here. Time Breaker? Breaker? Sheriff Breaker? Tim Breaker, maybe? I don't know. Perhaps that's a little play on his name. Time Breaker. But we'll see what that is. I would love the original Breaker to come back. That's somebody else I need to come back in the game as Sarah Breaker. Um, I was you know, disappointed that she didn't show up. Because she was a big part of the first game. Like, her and Barry, I would love them to kind of reconnect into this story somehow. But who knows? People love multiverse, the team-ups that sells. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's... But to see it in a video game world, which you really don't see it, right? You don't see it off. You don't see, like... I mean, you see, like, players, different characters entering, like, fighting games. But you don't see, like, a Resident Evil teaming up with, like... Uh, you know, Monster Hunter characters and being, like, intertwined or, like, you know, 
I guess the only thing that's really done has been like Kingdom Hearts has kind of done it right with like Final Fantasy characters and stuff and Disney but there's, it doesn't happen that often in the gaming world I don't think outside of like fighting games to like do it in like a story a story basis, like story heavy is just so awesome. I think there's stuff that implies Sarah joined FBC. Oh wait, was that in Was that in Ellen Wake too? Did I just forget about it? Did they actually mention her? Mobile games that happens more oh yeah, mobile games, because they're easier to make and can easily implement things. There was an old Crash and Spyro crossover. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Maybe she'll be in Control too. Uh, that would be great. I, I would love. To, I want Sarah Breaker to come back in any of these games. It would be great because she was really awesome. Like the part in the first game where you're fighting alongside her is just like super awesome. Really fun. It's in Alan Wake too. Okay, so I need to. It must have been like, was it like a note that I picked up or something I saw? Maybe I just don't remember. Maybe at the time I probably reacted to it and just don't remember about it. GBA, I need to play more Crash. I've barely done any on stream. You should. I've been doing a lot more Crash stuff on stream. Arachna, I played... I mean, after Crash Team Rumble, I started playing more Crash stuff. I did Twin Sanity. I did Crash Bandicoot 4, which is phenomenal. Um, and I plan on doing other Crash games too whenever I can get a hold of I have a couple other Crash games in my collection now as well I've gotten into it I've gotten into the whole Crash Bandicoot thing I, I wasn't growing up because I just didn't play them I didn't have the systems so I never really I don't know I just never got into the games until, until like last year and I'm enjoying them I love it I think I think they're super fun I love the characters, I love the, the universe of it, and just, the games have been great. You played them a lot growing up, yeah. People have, like, a lot of nostalgia for them. I mean, I played the, um, I played the Insane Trilogy years ago when that came out. That was my first introduction to Crash Bandicoot games, was that. Because at the time, I didn't have any of the original games or stuff, I didn't have a way to stream any retro systems, so I picked up Insane Trilogy as like, all right, let me play this and see what Crash Bandicoot is like, you know, because I never got to play it. I thought, well, this is great. I can play the first three remastered, and I usually don't like a lot of remastered stuff, but I don't mind playing it time to time. And it was really good. Like, it was really, really good. I had a fun time playing those. The first one was definitely the hardest of the three. I thought the third Crash game was actually really easy. If I remember correctly, at least the uh, insane trilogy version. Crash Two is most people's favorite, mostly, and you played mostly one through Wrath of Cortex. I have Wrath of Cortex on the GameCube now. I think Tim says she left to join the Feds. Okay, so when we're talking to him. I think I remember now. Cause I'm like, wait a minute, his name's Breaker. I thought maybe they just replaced her with him. And then they did say something about her, huh? So hopefully she is going to be in control too, then that would be great. That would be great. I would love that. Yeah, that was a good episode. That was probably more along in tune with, you know, the game itself. The first episode was number one fan. That was just crazy it was fun though it was really fun this one was more true to the game but it got really weird at the end <laughs> and we'll see what time breaker is maybe they saved the best for last I don't know I've enjoyed both of these this is great it's more content in this wonderful game so I can't complain hopefully you guys enjoyed um, some more Alan Wake 2 tonight we got one more trip in the night springs one more trip. Uh, from the wiki, her cousin Tim Breaker had recurring dreams about a particular man. Sketch done and sent it around. Recognized it in a case from Bright Falls, 1988. Marlon Door was struck by lightning near Cauldron Lake and vanished to Bright Falls to escape further. So I was sure that she left Bright Falls to join the feds. Oh, okay. Thank you. That fills in some holes there that I didn't 
I might have missed or just forgot. So he's the new, yeah, obviously he's the new sheriff. So she's, yeah, if they're saying the feds, it's definitely going to be, it's definitely going to be the FBC then. Did I beat this then? I've beaten Alan Wake too, yeah. I'm just doing some of the DLC now, Arachna. They have, they just released a Night Springs DLC the other day. So I have one more, I just have one more episode to do, which is the third one. But the base game I beat, yeah. And then there's a uh, more DLC coming later this year, called the Lake House. Can't wait! Can't wait! It's gonna make me go crazy. I'm gonna geek out as always. Sounds like Remedy is setting some stuff up for sure. Yeah. So like, I mean, potentially Sarah could be a, a playable character in Control, even. You know, if they do dual things with that. I don't know. There's so much they can do. There's just there's just so much that they can possibly do with this. It's so cool. I wasn't sure if I beat the DLC. Oh, okay, yeah. I, I haven't yet. Just one more episode. Because you often talk when you're at the end of a game for some reason. You do. You do. You're like... This is one of the games um, I definitely don't want spoilers with. Most of the time, I don't care too much. But uh, some games, yeah, this being one of them where I'm like, I don't, I'm trying to play it before I get any spoilers, so. Somehow I managed to play through the first, the, this game, pretty slowly, without getting spoiled of anything. Because I, I stayed away from any kind of Alan Wake news stuff, people talking about anything like that, so I wasn't spoiled. Alan Wake 2 um, probably didn't sell as much as they wanted. It's a success in terms of, like, getting this game back on the map and fans loving it, and it got reviewed immensely well. It was one of the highest-reviewed games of the year. It won a ton of awards. So it really put these developers, this team, this game on the map to a lot of eyes. It opened up a lot of eyes to them. So did it sell as well as they wanted to? Probably not, but... Um, in the long run, this is going to be really good for Remedy. Because it's going to continue to sell, too. It's going to continue to sell a bit, but it's hard to meet those expectations with things going to Game Pass and all these streaming services. and It's hard. It's hard. But, you know, they got my money, and they're probably going to get more of my money, too, honestly. It was to return to investigate Bright Falls and Alan Wake 3. I was he's on lockdown during this game because of... The hiss. Oh, the hiss. That's right. Goodness me. Jade filling in all the all this all the the dots here. I'm trying to like remember everything that was going on in control. Again, I need to play through that one. All the social media you have is MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> Freaking MySpace. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't like. I don't. Like my social media is basically. YouTube and Twitch and like a little bit of Facebook here and there but I really don't spend a lot of time on Facebook I actually I kind of can't stand Facebook but I only really go on there to kind of like keep in touch with some friends and family that's about it um, and I like maybe post something like once every two months <laughs> but yeah I mean I don't I try not to go on social media. Like I don't, I don't live on Instagram. I don't live on Twitter. I don't live on, you know, Snapchat, uh, TikTok. I don't, I don't have any of those. You know, I know that sounds weird, but I just don't have any of those. I don't, I don't do that. I barely spend any time on Discord. So social media is basically for me is YouTube and Twitch. Um, whether that's a good or bad thing, but I, I honestly don't like to. You know, to spend all my time on social media either when I'm not streaming and stuff. Like, if I'm watching YouTube, you know, whatever, I, you know, I'll watch YouTube, but I'm not just like scrolling through everything on social media all the time. Because, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's not, I just don't like it. I don't like it. You weren't even spoiling Jack 2 for 15 years until you beat it. Look at that. Look at that. 
give up with the MySpace. You don't like Facebook either? Yeah, Facebook's terrible. All it is is a bunch of ads and memes. That's all I see when I go on there. Like people posting memes, I'm like, I don't care. And then it's like ads, 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 and I'm like, why am I even why am I on this right now? Like occasionally I'll see a post that I'm like actually interested in from like a friend or something. I'm like, oh, they posted something cool, like they went on a trip somewhere and they posted pictures or they're you know, making an announcement or something. I'm like, oh that's cool, but it's like you barely see that. You have a you have a you have a Facebook uh, to look at cats <laughs> that's I guess that's a good reason to have something you used tweeter in 2011 posted a picture of a spoon and left that might be the greatest uh, tweet ever it has ads yeah there's ads all over Facebook like if you watch any videos on there advertisements just scrolling through your feed just a bunch of ads come up not like ones you have to watch but just like you know just advertisements. It's so stupid. You aren't missing anything except toxicity. Yeah, as I'm saying, like, there's so much toxicity on social media. I feel like kids are getting raised on, on social media these days, and it's so dangerous. It's like, you have these TikTok influencers and stuff that influence these kids to act and talk a certain way rather than being, like, their own person. It's just, that's what scares me, you know. That's why I, I never want to do that. For myself for anybody you know that's why I do things the way I do I want to be as real as down to earth as possible and as genuine as possible with all the if I'm you know since I'm doing this in this light because I don't know who's gonna watch me I don't know if there's gonna be there's been a younger audience that have come in and watched me before you know I, I don't know how they're gonna react to anything you know I don't want to I want to set an example for them too you know because like if I act like a complete idiot and asshole and people are loving it then they're gonna be like, oh, this guy did it on uh, Twitch. He was uh, doing a, he was uh, doing a prank, and it was funny, and everybody loved it. It's like, no, I hate prank channels. I can't stand them. You know, you know the ones, you know, the, you know the ones I'm talking about. The ones that go too far. These kids who think they're funny doing something, and like they're getting, they want like a violent reaction, and when they get it, you know, it becomes a big deal, and it's like, well, what do you expect? You're going up to somebody. They don't know if you're going to threaten them for real. Like, I've seen some really dumb, really bad, like, pranks things. And I'm just like, that just goes, like, it's not even like, it's not, it goes beyond, like, being funny. It's just, like, it, it's psychotic. And I'm like, why? And people love it. It's like you go up to a random stranger and, like, try to piss them off so they hit you or something. Like, it's not a prank. That's just being an asshole. I'm sorry, but it's not. It's not a prank. You never seen an advertisement on, on anything. <laughs> Maybe it's because I only use the Book of Face on mobile browser. I refuse to download applications. Oh. You ever seen an advertisement even on the mobile browser? Because that's all I do. I don't use Facebook on my computer at all. It's on my phone. And I ba I only use my computer really to work on videos and stream and stuff and make music I don't even like use the internet on my computer that often so people don't want to be bothered on the uh, oh with the pranks oh yeah it's, it's terrible like like some people like you're not you're risking yourself and them by going up to a random person and doing something really shitty because you don't know how they're gonna react you don't know if they're carrying a weapon what their what their day was like what their mental uh, status is like because you, you know you don't know what they've been through what they're doing and then you're gonna go up there and just do something crazy to them you don't know how they're gonna react and then you, you're gonna complain about how they react to you and that's on you that's on you you don't use the computer either but I also don't use the phone application you don't want the notifications oh yeah yeah I don't get really get Facebook notifications that's why, like, sometimes people message me on there. I, like, never see it for, like, a while. So I'm like, oh, it didn't even notify me, so. I have to, like, go in and physically check. But, yeah, that's about, I mean, I just, that's just why I don't, I don't use a lot of social media. Like, I get why people use it as, like, a platform for certain things, but. 
like like I'm doing, for instance. I don't have much of a platform here, obviously. I'm just some dude, every every your average guy doing his thing here. But I also don't want to set a horrible example for people. You know, I want to be as like I said, as genuine as real as possible when doing everything I'm doing. So you can kind of disconnect. So there's not, I guess, so much disconnect from the real world and social media as there can be because there's such a huge disconnect there, I think, in today's age, especially for the younger audience who are eating up these TikTok videos and all this stuff. And then they don't know how to react. They don't know how to to be like in in person. It, like I don't know. Like you see how they I've seen like how people like socialize and they're just like on their phones, they're not even talking to each other. I'm like like why are you even hanging out then if you're just gonna sit on your phone or something? You know, like when I'm with my friends and stuff, I'm not on my phone unless I'm checking something or they I need to look at something, you know? Or I have to like text somebody real quick or make a call, but I'm not like I'm not just like sitting there living on my phone, you know, like I'm I'm spending time, especially when I'm with Jesse. I'm not on my phone. She's usually not on her phone either, so we're just like enjoying what we're doing, you know. Sorry, I'm going off on a rant. See what happens when we talk about Facebook? I'll tell people to just text me and they look at me like I'm crazy. Yeah, like, what do you mean text? <laughs> text, I know, like, I, uh, isn't it crazy? When did it become crazy to use a phone for texting and calling? When did that become a crazy, like, like pardon us, right, for wanting to use a phone for what it's actually made for? <laughs> Can you believe these things? What a world we live in. What a world we live in. But my spiel's over. I'm just... I'm just enjoying doing what I'm doing. I'm happy with... the platforms I'm using. And doing what I'm doing. It's just basically a creative outlet for me and my, my passions. And to meet... great people like all of you. And hopefully spread... my way of thinking around um, in terms of just how we should all be pretty respectful of one another, right? I think that's that's always something that I preach <laughs> is respect because there's so much disrespect in this world with people and it drives me crazy. People like hating each other because of the their religion or their their political stance or something like that their sexuality it's like why why who they are bears no bones on who you are and what you have to do or want to do so I don't get why people get so crazy about that people will just email you before they text you <laughs> they don't want to text what the heck Oh gosh, they're like, I want to email. People still use email sometimes, huh? Right? I don't really email people, actually. I think I just get a bunch of junk email. Oh. But we're enjoying uh, Twitch and YouTube, aren't we? We're t we are enjoying this. We are enjoying this. Hopefully you guys are too. And I don't blame anybody if they don't want to watch me, that's for sure. I'm just some dude drinking beer in the dark. Um, we're gonna end tonight. I'm gonna have to try to get some sleep soon before work. Um, that was a great episode. Hope everybody enjoyed more Alan Wake too. We will come back to the third episode very soon and see what that one's about. <laughs>